KDK meteorologist Ray Petlin joins me now. Stormy day, uh, pretty calm evening, but it looks like there is still some rain in the region. Yeah, a lot of the lightning and thunder is finished up, but this rain is still working through. Most of this is lighter than what we were experiencing earlier today, but uh, there's still a couple very small pockets in there where you might get a quick little downpour, but most of this is on the lighter side. This will be moving through over the coming hours, and then tomorrow we're going to flare this all up again. We have had a, a pretty stormy setup across our region. You'll notice that many of the storms in Ohio have been dying out over the course of the evening once the sun set. That's going to be the case for us as well. We're going to See everything starting to die down, but it flares back up tomorrow. So we're not quite done with the rain and thunderstorms. And I think most of the activity is going to favor areas south of I-70, especially with the heavier rain. This is where we had the two to four inches by radar estimates fall over the course of today. So tomorrow, heavy rain is not something you want in these areas. And that's why there's that uh, medium risk for excessive rainfall, which could mean some areas of flooding. And that's the whole reason we have a first alert weather day for tomorrow is that possibility because we've seen the heavy rain and we're going to see some light rain here and there and then scattered showers and potentially some rumbles of thunder through the day. But watch what happens tomorrow evening. We start to see some of that heavier precipitation moving in and that could be enough to tip things over and give you that flood uh, potential down there. Washington, Uniontown, Waynesburg, uh, even up to Connellsville. So those are spots we're watching very carefully for tomorrow and the reason we have the first alert weather day for tomorrow. Now into the weekend, I think it's going to be more of an isolated rain or thunderstorm uh, possibility, mostly dry. So I think a little better for the weekend, but you still might have a rain delay to deal with. But when it comes to the first alert weather day for the rest of tonight and tomorrow, the scattered storms are becoming less numerous and we'll continue that trend through the night. We'll get another round of storms tomorrow and then those, especially later in the day, could come with some exceptionally heavy rainfall attached. Tonight, our temperatures are generally going down to the upper 60s and low 70s. The humidity is going to remain high, so it will be a warm and sticky night. Tomorrow's temperatures, they bounce back to the upper 70s and low 80s. We're actually looking for 82 degrees in Pittsburgh. I'm not sure why that clicked over to, to 79. So just so you know, tonight we're going down to 70 degrees. Uh, thunderstorms, as for tomorrow, those temperatures right around 80 degrees for that high temperature scattered around around heavy rain at times is possible. So that's something we need to pay very close attention to, especially late and especially south of the city. Next seven, these temperatures go from about 80 degrees with that uh, first alert weather day tomorrow to the upper 80s again for the weekend. Both weekend days come with high humidity and a slight chance of a shower thunderstorm developing. The better chances Monday and Tuesday. That's with the front coming in. So we're going to go from those temperatures in the mid 80s to the upper 70s by the time we're getting to Tuesday. So this is where we're going to see another pretty stormy setup. And then beyond that Wednesday and Thursday next week, these temperatures are going to be hanging out in the upper 70s on Wednesday, low 80s, Thursday, a little lesser with the humidity more just a touch of humidity in the air compared to the uh, uh, awful humidity that we've been seeing the past couple days. And we're going to get some sunshine there. So a couple of nice days. We'll be right back.